in this lecture, we're going to create a project through the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE and compile it with the compiler that comes with this IDE. Let's go and do this. The first thing we're going to do is start up Visual Studio. So we're going to go to the start menu and say Visual Studio. And we're going to choose the version that we installed. The latest one that has the features that we want in C++ 20 is the preview version here. I'm going to start it up and I'm going to create a new project. Choose this guy here. We're going to create a console application. We're going to hit next and we're going to give it a name. Let's call it VS for Visual Studio Template Project. And we're going to put it somewhere on our drive. I am going to put that in this location here. You're going to put it wherever you want on your drive. I'm going to select folder and I'm going to check this place solution and project in the same directory checkbox here. Once you do that, you're going to hit create and it's going to create your project. Okay, it looks like the IDE is here and uh, this is the structure our project is in. You're going to have this window show up somewhere depending on the settings you are using on your computer, but uh, by default, it should show up to the right. So I just dragged it to the left here. You're going to put it wherever you want. So if you look at the files we have in here, we have source files, and uh, this is the CPP file. This is uh, what contains this main function here. This is where we're going to put our starter code. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all this here and put in our test code that we've been using all along. The next thing I really want to do, I don't like this name. So I am going to select here and choose rename and I'm going to main, and I'm going to name this main.cpp just to be consistent with what we have done with other IDEs and compilers. And uh, the other thing we need to do is to make this support C++ 20. So right now you see that it's uh, giving us these red squiggly lines on Constable. This is a C++ 20 feature and we need to support this. The way you do this in Visual Studio, you right click on your project and you go to properties. You're going to choose C and C++ like here. You're going to choose language and you're going to go to this language standard setting here and choose preview features from latest C++. We're going to choose this and we're going to apply, hit okay. And we should be ready now to run C++ 20 code. And you see that the problem is solved here. If you want to run this, you're going to go to debug and start without debugging or hit control F5 as you see here. If you run this, it's going to start building as you see here, and we should see the output in a minute. Okay, value equals three, it is what we expect, and we are able to compile C++ 20 code. This is really all you have to do to compile a C++ 20 program in Visual Studio. And you should see that the version of Visual Studio I am using is 16.9.0 preview 2. You should have this version at the list or have something better or newer than this. That's going to be even better, but this is the minimum we need to be able to do what we are going to do in this course with this compiler from Microsoft. Before I let you go, I'm going to show you how you can save this as a template so that you don't have to do these settings for the latest standard, every time you create a new project, you can uh, basically save this as a template, start a project. The way you do that, you come to project and choose export template. You're going to leave the default here, project template. You're going to hit next and you're going to give it a name. So this is going to be a C++ 20 project. We're going to say C++ 20 project here as well. No big deal no icon, and we're going to save this somewhere. And uh, we're going to hit finish. This should be it. Okay, this is where this template is going to be saved. I'm going to close out of this. If I close this project, let's come to file and say close solution. If I try to create a new project now, the C++ 20 project template should be available. Let's see that we have it. 
And if you go down, you see that we have our C++ 20 project here. You can choose it, hit next, give it a name. So sum up project. This is going to do, and it's going to be saved in a location on your drive. You can change this if you want. We're going to create. And when we get this opened in Visual Studio, we want to see that it has the same settings. You see that the name is main CPP as we want. We have our starter code here. And most importantly, this is C20 ready. We don't have to set this again. We can uh, hit Control F5 to run this. And it should run. Okay, you see the value is three here. This is what we expect. And this is what we set out to do in this lecture. Okay, now we can use the Visual Studio IDE to run and compile C20 code. We're going to stop here in this lecture. In the next one, we're going to show you how you can actually use the Visual Studio code editor and make it pick up the compiler from Microsoft. And that's going to be pretty cool as you are about to see. Go ahead and finish up here and meet me there.